Saints, let me remind you about something. We are at war. I don't know if you even realize that, but there is a war that is happening between good and evil, the angels and the demons, devil and God. And I gotta tell you one thing, the devil ain't gonna win. Jesus is gonna win, and I wanna be on that side in the end days, amen? Matthew chapter 24, Jesus talks about something, and he talks about the kingdom of God. And he, before he, I even share this passage with you, understand that Jesus is telling the, the believers about the end days, and that there's gonna be persecutions, there's going to be false teachers, false prophets. There's going to be people that are going to fall away from the faith. People that once showed love for one another, they're going to be hateful and they're going to hurt one another. And all of these wicked, crazy things are going to happen before the end of the world. And Jesus says something that is profound, and this is where we come into play. Here's what he says right here in the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 14. He says, and the good news about the kingdom the kingdom of God, it will be preached throughout the whole world so that all nations will hear it. And then the end will come. I had a friend of mine, Larry, he told me this. He says, the kingdom of God is either advancing or it is retreating, but there is no in between. Question to ask you, what are you doing to advance the kingdom of God? Or are you retreating? Every time you're at a barbecue, every time you're with your family in the living room, watching TV, every time you're listening to the radio, is your thought pattern, what can I do to advance the kingdom of God? While you're in your workplace, while you're shopping at the store, are you thinking of ways as a soldier of Christ, how you can advance the kingdom of God? Because I want to inform you, if you are not advancing the kingdom of God, you are retreating. We are either doing one or the other. There is no in between. So I want to be a soldier of God. I want to be the soldier for Christ, that I win souls for the kingdom of God, that I give that devil that licking that he deserves and that he takes, and that I win people so they can know Lord, know the Lord, know their creator, be delivered, be saved, and that they can lead others to Jesus as well. And that is how we will advance it. It's going to look different for different people. God's going to call you to a ministry and to do, a, which is the word ministry is work. God's going to call you to do a work for his kingdom so that way you can be a part of that army to advance the kingdom of God. So question to ask you, in your life, do you see the kingdom of God advancing or do you see it retreating? If you see it retreating, maybe there's something that you need to do differently in your life and maybe take the, the level of your walk with God up a notch or two so that way you can be a winner. You could be an advancer, advance the kingdom of God in the people around you, influence your world for the kingdom of God. That's what I want to do. Amen. Let's pray. pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for who you are. We thank you, Lord, that you have saved us, Lord, from a life of darkness and brought us into your marvelous light. Lord, we thank you, Lord, that not only have you called us into yourself, God, but you want to use us to reach the world and advance your kingdom. So, God, I pray right now, Lord, for your Holy Spirit to impart boldness, to impart creativity into your people so that way they can be used by you to advance your kingdom. God, God, we don't want to be retreating. We don't want to be on the defense. God, we want to be on the offense. We want to win souls for your kingdom because we know that these are the last days. We know that many people, Lord, are, are perverse and are turning away from you. But God, we are focused on you. We are not going to turn our backs on you. And God, not only are we going to focus on you, but Lord, we are going to be used by you. We want to be used by you to lead others to you as well. So God, we thank you, Lord, that you are using us, God, to advance your kingdom. God, I lift up my brother and my sister that may be watching this video. God, I pray, Lord, that by the Holy Spirit, they will be imparted with boldness, with confidence in you, and creativity on how you can use them to advance your kingdom here on earth. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.